The third and final principle is openness. We must ensure that our institutions are high quality, but also open and connected to each other and to the world. In a world of tough new competition and scarce resources, our institutions must leverage their local, regional and global networks to attract and retain the very best students and faculty, prepare local students for global careers and to be at the cutting edge of research. All our institutions of higher learning now have exchanges and immersion programs that allow students to spend time in overseas institutions. These must continue and grow. Four centers of innovation now support local research and development initiatives at our polytechnics. ITE's Global Education Program sends about 3,000 students abroad every year. Centers of Technology promote deeper collaboration between ITE and industry. And at the university level, the National Research Foundation's Campus for Research Excellence and, te and Technological Enterprise, or CREATE for short, offers open spaces for research interaction between NUS, NTU, and SMU, and leading overseas institutions. And the Ministry of Education and the NRF have established research centers of excellence to undertake cutting-edge research in areas such as quantum technologies, cancer sciences, and the earth sciences. And these collaborations have reaped early fruits. NUS recently developed a method for the early diagnosis of gastric cancer. NTU researchers have discovered that annual growth rings on corals in Indonesia could potentially predict massive earthquakes in the region. These are all positive initiatives in the public sector. But an area for greater attention is leveraging of private networks also. Private foundations have always played a prominent role in giving back to society by donating to educational institutions. Recently, the Lee Foundation donated $150 million to a Lee Kong Chien School of Medicine. This trend must continue for Singapore's higher education to secure diverse resources for its future growth. In the future, I would like private and corporate support to extend beyond financial support to include mentorship, research collaborations, and learning opportunities. Just as society and the world have an impact on the face of higher education, good institutions must also have a transformative impact on society. I've spoken at length on the economic role that our high, higher institutions play, but we must never forget their social purpose. Other than training manpower and promoting research and development, which of course are extremely important activities, our higher education sector must also contribute to society. SMU was the first university in Singapore to make public service a prerequisite for graduation. And last year, SMU clocked up its million hour of service by its students. Congratulations. <clears throat> and today, many of our tertiary institutions have similar programs in place. The role of higher education is not just to prepare one for a job, but of, for a contributing role in society and for life. Although there is much cynicism in the world today, I believe that idealism and social consciousness is also high, particularly among our students. Our institutions must nurture the 
idealism of their students into lifelong commitments to work for the betterment of our society. In short, I believe that a comprehensive approach to education that is flexible and open to new ideas is necessary for Singapore's continued growth. But I also believe that these values will enable all Singaporeans to set and achieve their own goals, to dream big and to live out those dreams. In painting this picture of the past, the present and the futures of Singapore's higher education sector, I want to make clear that I remain confident about Singapore's future. Yes, the future is uncertain, but the future is not something to be feared. The future is something to be shaped. Singapore today is radically different from the Singapore of 100 years ago and from the Singapore in the 1960s when I completed a degree in physics at our stand, the University of Singapore. We have created new institutions to respond to challenges and to offer new opportunities to current and future generations of Singaporeans. And moving forward, we must continue to offer a comprehensive education to all Singaporeans. We must be flexible, we must be open to new ideas. If we can do this, and I'm confident we can do it, we will prosper and our students will thrive whatever the futures hold. Thank you for listening to me and I look forward to a good dialogue and uh, for your comments and comments and views. I, uh, I would like to hear as much from you as uh, you may like to hear from me. Thank you again very much. Thank you.